So I've been working on my on my Steam VR environment. So this is a kind of work in progress. The texture baking is kind of crappy. You see the white edges, and I probably have to. That might actually be. <laughs> I think the alpha channel uh, is creeping in on the textures. I need to add the margin there. But otherwise, I I figured out how to kind of adjust the the play space so it matches pretty well with the real world. Well enough, I guess. So I can walk to my couch. It's kind of kind of scary, but this works. No problem. <laughs> I can, can probably put stuff on the. Yeah, it's not. That's not very good at all, actually. But the the voxels that this is based on are 10 by 10 centimeters, so it's not super precise. Oh, no tracking there. <laughs> But yeah, it kind of works. Yeah, it's a bit off. But uh, I plan to like write a guide for this because it's made completely with free software. Where's the? There it is. <laughs> with Magica Voxel and and Blender. So it's quite quite nice that that can be done. My plan is to try and use this background off of the Steam uh, workshop and use it for image-based lighting. Now this is just the sunlight in 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 Blender with soft shadows, um, and I figured that it would be very nice to base the lighting on the actual environment map. And I opened up the <laughs> the ceiling just to get some natural light in here. It's kind of nice to have a, an artificial uh, view from my broken windows. <laughs> yeah, this is better. It worked better than I had expected because last time I did this almost a month ago, I got the scale wrong and, and the model didn't show up and stuff. But yeah, bit of experimentation and, and things work suddenly. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs>